Craig Milby, and we are out today uh, on location uh, for the first time ever with Kentucky's Heartland.com, by the way. And uh, you're going to see some equipment lined up here, and we're going to show you. Where are we at today, by the way? This is my friend Shannon. Hi. Shannon and I just met. I watched her tumble a minute ago. <laughs> I used to be able to do that a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. That was very impressive, Shannon. Thanks for being that way. You're so um, <laughs> let's talk about this place. What's this called? Jim Bob's Gym? What is this? It's Becca's Place Gymnastics. Becca's Place Gymnastics. I've heard of this place. Uh, you guys put on a really cool uh, gymnastics meet every year, right? Every year, yes, sir. That's what we call a segue in this world. Now we're talking about that because let me guess, that's coming up this weekend, right? It is this weekend. I'm very nervous about it. All right. So tell us, why why is this, uh, is this meet so, so important? It's so important because our gym has came so far since when we first started. There were six girls on our gymnastics team and now there are over 80 and we're still a huge family and we love each other just as we always have mm -hmm. when there were six of us. All right, and I'm gonna show the gym as, as we're kind of talking here a little bit too. We'll, we'll, we'll get fancy here. All right, Shannon, we're gonna, we're gonna see, we're gonna go this down here. This is impressive. I, I, know, I don't <laughs> even know what I'm doing here. But uh, Becca's Place, uh, they've been doing this for quite a while as far as this meet on the weekend. Now, we're talking, we're not talking 50 gymnasts. We're talking like 400 yeah, gymnasts. Yeah, over 400 in. in 12 teams, which is a lot. From all over the place, right? Yes, sir. All right, so uh, what are some of the events? And then people could come out and watch us, right? Oh, yes, you can come. It's at E-Town High School right. here in E-Town. All right, so, uh, and that is coming up this Saturday. Saturday and Sunday. All right, Saturday and Sunday. And um, so gymnasts from all over the place are we talking beginners all the way up to um, uh, pretty uh as i was looking around here <laughs> people doing some <laughs> crazy stuff well yeah it's from level two which is the basic cartwheels and handstands up until level nine and ten and it's the big girls that people don't think that little gymnasts can do but we're pretty strong we okay. can do the big skills so shannon how long have you been doing this uh, since i was two how old are you now i'm 17. 17. <laughs> Yeah. 15 years. <laughs> How about that for math? Yeah. Yeah, I do math better than I do uh, gymnastics. But uh, it's very impressive to see. You have a lot of young folks here, and you have some folks that are that are uh, aging up. So how long can you participate as a, as a gymnast here at that Becca's Place? You can participate till you're 18. Okay. So you're like one of the old people here. I am. I used to be a baby in a little diaper. Okay. But something happened. I don't know what changed. Yeah, it's called life. But yeah. uh, <laughs> So let me ask you, why did you get involved in gymnastics? Why? Oh, I was two. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, okay, but at, at two, you can... Uh, you don't really make your own decisions, but at some point, you're 17 now. Stop? Somebody's not forcing you to come here. So why exactly are you uh, still participating in gymnastics? Because it's more than gymnastics okay. when it's here. Right, it's what is way it? more. It's about family and how to be a woman in Europe. And these things I've learned, I'm going to take them with me to college when I go in a year. <laughs> wow, that's kind Sadly. of scary, you think, right? Yeah. Are you excited about that? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> no. Right. Well, uh, so Saturday, if somebody has maybe got a, a two-year-old and they're thinking about getting into gymnastics, what do... Um well, if they had a two-year-old, they want to come probably Sunday mm -hmm. because those are when the lower levels go. But if they just want their little kid to see the big stuff, that's more on Saturday. All right. You know, I love the Olympics. So <laughs> we've got some really competitive folks around here. What, when do I need to come to watch Saturday, 6 o'clock. <clears throat> Saturday. You'll see me. Is that in like the, the morning side or the uh Oh, the, the evening side. side. So evening side. We need to sleep in. Okay. So <laughs> you're going to do <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Well, uh, so what is, what is your, what's your favorite, uh, what do you call it? Event. Exercise? An event. event. Okay. It's what? the uneven bars. Those are the best. Well, they're <laughs> uneven. Um, so actually, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do this and do some kind of magical thing. And there's the uneven bars. Who's that that's on there right now? Uh, her name's Meredith. She, Meredith. we call her tiny because she's tiny. I can see that. And then, all right. So that's cool. But they can't do that in a competition where they catch them and flip them, right? I mean, you can, but okay. you're not supposed to. <laughs> all right, that's good. All right. So, um, are you good at commentating and talking about things? Yeah. So, all right. Step back over here. Shannon. Okay. We're gonna we're going to watch somebody do some flips. You can tell me what they're doing. And uh, coming out of the corner right in front of us, we have Jenna Smallwood. She is currently a freshman, and she's going to do a round off, back handspring, lay out, stick the landing with her arms pressed back. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, we got somebody else. And Raya, she's a sixth grader. The punch front. It's a forward flip, not a backward flip. The punch front. 
And here comes Kennedy. We call her John. Back hand spring, lay out, finish. That's what we call finish when you put your arms up. I call finish when I fall. <laughs> that, that's a totally different, right? It's a little different. Okay. All right. So we're going to. And there's Jenna again. That's her front hand spring, front pike. So do you guys do this the entire time, just run and flip over and over and over? We have four events to go to, so just about. Okay. Yeah, well, that's good. Now, we'll. Uh, we'll uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get smart here and figure this out. All right. Okay. That's Greer, ran off back hand spring, back tuck. That's usually level six. So level it's six. More in the middle. Oh, here is Carolee Coleman and front hand spring, front full. She's one of our three level nines. So is that the highest level? That's the highest we have, but you can go to 10. Okay. So when we're talking Olympics, what, what level? Are well, we? after level 10, you go to elite, which is training for the Olympics or college. But not not everyone wants to go to the Olympics, so you just go to elite to right, train Right, I don't want to go to the Olympics. That's why I'm d I, I don't do it. You, you believe that, don't you? I think you could go. All right, so how much does it cost to uh, to go to this event uh, coming up this weekend? It's $10 for adults right, and $5 so for kids. So $10 for adults, $5 for kids. So we'll have concessions, and it's going on all day? It is all day. Okay. Both days. All right, so do we want to who, – who else do we want to talk? We're, we're doing this on the fly. Do you want to come over and talk? Me? Yeah. yeah come on. Come on, Coach. And coming up on the runway is Jennifer Bohan and Ryan. But, but, but do we have to call her Jennifer or can we just call her Coach? Coach Jen. Coach Jen. Jen. All right, Coach. Yeah. All right, so All right. Uh, this is a big event. It is a big event. And I've talked to you quite a few times about this over the years. And I know uh, this, this beach party has special meaning. Uh, kind of go uh, behind the scenes and tell us exactly what the beach party is and what it was for. Okay, so it's our, um, our very own sanctioned gymnastics meet. Um, it was a dream of our parents. Our parents opened this gym for the first time in 2003. Um, it was called Flip Town, and in 2006, our baby sister passed away. She was in a car accident, um, and our parents closed the gym. So after about 18 months, they decided that kids were important, and that really kind of gave them a purpose, you know, going through the loss they were going through. Um, so they reopened the gym, and they named it Becca's Flip Town after her. Um, they did that until 2013. Jess and I bought the gym from them in 2013, and we named it Becca's Place. And a dream that my mom always had was to have her very own meet here in E-Town so that, you know, the kids could be competitive and have quality gymnastics and a quality competitive experience here at home. So we have, um, so in 2014, I think, we had a great group of parents, and they, they basically did all the hard work and put it together and found the sponsorships and... Um, it's really grown. Our first year we had 140 gymnasts, and now we're up to over 400. Wow, 400 gymnasts. Now, uh, what does that mean for you guys to be able to have a meet this close? I mean, you guys usually have to travel quite a bit to, to do some of the, the bigger meets, correct? We do. We travel. Um, the optional girls this year are going to um, Pigeon Forge and Myrtle Beach. Um, and then the closest competition that we have is either Bartstown or Louisville. So it's really exciting to get to do this on our home turf, at our home meet. The, the kids, the energy is great. They have a good time. They always feel like they score better at home, um, and they're comfortable. And so it's a great opportunity for them. Well, they get to sleep in their bed the night before. Right, true. So it's always true. Makes, makes things a lot easier. Now, I mentioned this to Shannon, but I want to ask you this, too, because you are coach. So um, for somebody that maybe their kids have thought about doing gymnastics and they've, they've never done it, is, is this meet a good opportunity for them to come out and kind of see where they could start and where they can go? Maybe and yeah, it's a great opportunity for that. Um, no matter what session you come to, you're either going to see the beginner introductory level to competitive team um, or you're going to see the big kids. And it, sometimes it's nice for our younger kids to get to see that the, the things they see on TV are going on in here in the gym. Um, but we don't just start with competitive. We start with mommy and me, you know, toddler age. So it's a good opportunity for them to see kind of the whole range of things that we do here. Okay, now I, I don't see many many guys around here. Is is the no is this a no guys club or what is it? No, it's not. Actually, over there on the back floor, there's a there's an all boys class. Um, there aren't as many boys in competitive gymnastics, but in our preschool and beginner rec classes, we do have a lot of boys that participate in that. But it's just harder to keep them involved with all the other sports opportunities as they get older. Okay, and um, 
Is, is there we a lot like of guys. Injuries? You can you can hang out. Oh, so sweet. Good. Right. Uh, so are there are a lot of injuries because I mean I'm watching you guys do this stuff and nobody's wearing a helmet. I mean, <laughs> right. do people get hurt. What? Um, we're super blessed. I mean, uh-huh. it does have its own um, its own risks, and um, the team kids are doing the more difficult things. So. Um, we wait until we feel like they can execute them safely, but there there are injuries. I mean, we have we struggle with some ankle weakness and um, things like that. But I mean, pretty much we focus on safety first and the skill second. If you train the right shapes and the right um, the right drills and the development progressions, then you can you know do it safely, and that's important. So, and I notice you have a lot of different equipment, a lot of padding around here, and you've got a lot of uh, I guess uh, spotters around the yes. floor. Yes. So, uh, and it's kind of hard to, uh, to I- explain what it is, but uh, I'm going to actually try to hit this button and maybe maybe explain. Uh, but this floor is not, I mean, what's underneath this floor? It's got, it's double layer Baltic birch, and then there's like thousands of springs, and then like two inches of EVA foam. So it's a spring floor. Okay. So even I'd be able to jump probably a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you get floor. some bounce. Okay. Then there goes Shannon. Oh, oh, we're gonna get her on the. Uh... That's my friend Shannon. She just did that. Good job, Shannon. That was great, Shannon. We're best friends now. Sorry. You gonna try again? Aren't you supposed to be quiet in gymnastics? Yeah, they're not oh. quiet. Man. I had. There's one girl. Her name's Grace. She's a senior. Uh huh. She's around here somewhere. When her mom called us. Um, she's on beam. She's about to backflip on the balance beam over there. Um, when her mom called us the first time, she's like, my child is, she's too shy. She's not going to be able to be in a regular class. She needs private lessons. And Grace has outgrown that shell, and now she's loud and friendly. And just, it's, it's a great thing to watch kids grow, not just as athletes, but as individuals in gymnastics. So do you see... Uh, a- you know, some that come in and, and maybe maybe they're, they're they're worried about getting started. Maybe they, they don't feel like they have the talent to do it. Do they progress pretty quickly, or, or what kind of time commitment were you talking per week to uh, to kind of grow in this sport? So it just depends. If you're starting at like a beginner level, you're talking an hour a week. Um, these big kids that you're watching train between 16 and 20 hours a week. Um, so it just depends. There's still room for growth. You can start at any time. Um, Caroline over there there's a over there in the pink on the balance beam Mm -hmm. she's um, a level eight and she only started like four years ago and that's not typical but it does happen Pretty great. That was my best friend Shannon right there. Good job, Shannon. I got that. We're gonna put that on MySpace. I'm teasing with not going on MySpace. We don't have a MySpace page. Uh, but I, I'm very impressed by this. I Thank really can't you. keep up. I wish I kind of knew what I'm doing to be able to keep up with everybody that's that's going on. So how many how many kids participate here on a on a on a weekly basis? Um, the team program has about 80, and then I really don't know. I'd okay. I'd say. 300 kids that aren't team like 300 recreational kids probably okay so you don't necessarily have to be on the team you can no you you can do it just for fun I mean we've had in the past we've had kids who do this in their off season um, we've actually had wrestlers who wanted to just come work out um, you know because we have some rings over there the high bar um, and do things like that in their off season so it kind of lends itself nicely to a variety of sports and levels do you have an event called the couch no oh I was going to say, I might actually be able to do that one. That mat over there, that big mat, it, uh-huh. it feels about like a couch or a bed. You might not want to get up. No, probably not. This is uh, this is very interesting. So let's kind of recap as we wrap this up. So uh, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, E-Town High School. Yes. Uh, it's $10. $10 for adults, $5 for kids, and 5 and under is free. All right, so what time are we talking about on Saturday and on Sunday? The first session starts at 8 o'clock both days. All right, so where do you, where, where's this money go that you guys raise from this? Does it go back into the program? What what happens with 100% it? 100% of the money we raise at the meet goes back into the program in one way or another. Um, we buy new equipment. Um, we've been super blessed. Our addition is almost finished, so we're going to have some more space. And then we... Um, get gifts for the kids. So like at our banquet at the end of the year, 
we use money for that, for their state bags and um, things for them. So 100% of what, what we make goes back into the program and into these kids. All right, pretty cool stuff. All right, well, uh, you heard it here this weekend, and we'll put that information, too, on the community calendar page of our website at KentuckysHeartland.com so you can see that. And, of course, it'll give you turn-by-turn -turn directions to get to E-Town High School, just in case you weren't familiar with that. So uh, make sure you come see my friend Shannon. She's going to rock it. She is a rock star. How about that, Shannon? Thank you. Yeah. So no pressure now. Everybody knows. Look, here, I'm going to show her again. That's, that's, nope, that's not Shannon. Hold on. I hit the wrong button. So, uh, oh yeah, there is Shannon right there. All right, look, and who's your friend? That's Sydney. Th that's Sydney, you didn't even know her name. That's good, Shannon. Keep the competitive spirit. All right, so uh, we're hanging out at Becca's place and the address here is- uh, 4210 Litchfield Road. Okay, uh, and before I go, can I, can I do a, 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 can I show my skills? Absolutely, I, w uh, I have something that we'd like to challenge you to do. All right, we're gonna, Okay, we'll put that on the end of this reel, but I'm going to show you some mad skills. You ready? We're right, ready. We're going to hold this. Okay. All right. And I'm going to hit that button there. I've been practicing. You got this. You got this. You ready? We're ready. Do, what am I doing? Am I doing a cartwheel or? You got a cartwheel? No, watch this. Ready? Oh, my God. Yeah. Woo! You got that salute. I am finished. That's it. All right, Kentucky'sHeartland.com. We're hanging out this weekend, Etown High School. You can see all these people here getting all kinds of awards.